How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create alerts here in Twitch very easily, just like you saw right there. Twitch is now added to where you can create alerts right in your creator dashboard and bring them into your streaming encoder, whether that's OBS Studio, Streamlabs, XSplit, etc. So throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own, just like how I just showed like that. All right, so let's go ahead and build everything from scratch. So what you're going to do is go to your creator dashboard, go to alerts, click on create alert box. We're going to give it a name, click create, and then you should see it here. So then you're going to go ahead and click on the edit alerts and it's going to bring you right to the editor. So I want to quickly just go over the menu before we get started creating our first one. So on the left hand side, you're going to be able to create alerts for follow subscriptions, gifted subs, cheering raids, charity, hype trains and goals. And then on the right hand side, you'll have general settings, layout, text and speech, visual and sound celebration. And then danger zone is going to be more about like notifications. You can also preview the alert, whether right here in the window or if you want to send the alert to your encoder, because it's going to be input by like a browser source. So the first alert we're going to make is going to be for follows. So you're going to expand this right here and you're going to see there's already one here for us to customize, which is the one right here in the center of the editor. So we go over to general settings and here you'll be able to change the name of the variant. So we're going to change this to follower alert for the alert conditions. This is just going to be the same. It's just letting you know that any new follow to your channel, this will then trigger the alert. You can adjust the duration. This is going to be in seconds and that is going to be for how long it's going to stay up on the screen for CSS and HTML. You have to save the changes before this will actually be activated for you. That way you can add that stuff in there. If you've been using it previously in other places, you have different animations that you can do and it's going to be within seconds. So you can adjust the time frame for it and you'll have different ones you can choose from, from fading in to rolling in, sliding up and down, left and right. And you can also zoom in and then it will be fading out, roll out, slide up, down, left and right and zoom out. So for layout, you'll be able to determine how you want things to kind of be placed. So for me, I usually like to have the text right on top of the image and it just kind of keeps everything nice and clean, but you can have it be different ways. So like you can have the image on the left, text on the right, and then text on the left, photo on the right, and then photo above, text underneath, and then photo underneath, text above. For the background, if you want to have a colored background, then you can go ahead and put that here by clicking on this box to change the color background. I'm going to keep it transparent. And then for the opacity, if you're unfamiliar with that is essentially, if you go under 50%, it's going to be more see-through. And if you go above 50%, it's going to be more solid for your background. The padding, you can adjust that if you need to. For text and speech, you can change how you want the message to be. I'm just going to leave it as default. You have different fonts that you can choose from. And I'm just going to choose the first one. You can have it be normal, semi bold or bold. We're just going to go bold. You can adjust the font size, the text layout, the text color. And for this, we are going to change the text color. We're going to do a little bit more of a blue. That way we can see it a little bit better. And it also goes with the colors of the nerd sanctum, which is my gaming channel for the drop shadow. You can kind of see that it works, but there's no real fine adjustments for it. It's just the default for what they give you. So you can use it if you want to. And then for the text to speech, you can choose the different languages that you want to use for it. And then you also have different voices that you can choose from. You can also set a delay for them if you choose to. I'm not going to use the text to speech for mine though. For the visual and sounds, if you have your own photos or music or anything that you use for your alerts, you can then bring them here. I've already uploaded mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one and bring it in. And then same thing with the sound as well. So once we have that done, then we are good with the visual and sound. And then for celebration, you can do different things. So for celebration, you can have it be fireworks. You could do flamethrower or you could do rain. So 
You can choose where you want these to also be placed. If you want them to be only on the chat, only on the video, or if you want it to be everywhere. So I'm just going to choose this. We're going to do a little bit of rain and we can also adjust the intensity of it. So I'm just going to keep it light so you guys can kind of see what it is. But once you're done with all of that, then go ahead and hit save changes. And then we're going to go ahead and preview follow. So you can kind of see that it just rains all this stuff around it. And that is really cool. I do like that. And I'll quickly show you guys what the other ones look like too. So for fireworks, go and preview fireworks. And this is still on the light intensity. And then for flamethrower, And that's going to be your flamethrower. Now, if you do get something in the danger zone, it's going to let you know that these actions can't be undone if you delete the variant. At the very bottom here, you're going to see a browser source URL. So we're just going to click copy. We're going to go into our OBS. And we're going to bring in browser. We're just going to keep that as browser. And we're going to paste this in hit OK and we're gonna send a test alert and there you go so now I can resize it move it around where I need to and that's it it's very easy to create these alerts guys very simple and I love that it's built directly into twitch so you should be able to get the notifications very quickly with it being integrated with twitch but that is essentially how you would do it uh, there is some other things that I do like. You can add extra variants if you want to. You can also edit multiple ones at the same time. So if you're wanting to do the same stuff with subscription and gifted sub and you don't want to go into this one and then do it individually and then do this one individually, you could do them all at the same time. I think it's a really cool integration with the Twitch platform. And I think you guys should definitely give it a try. See how you like it. See if you get your alerts a lot quicker and if you run into any bugs or anything like that but i think this is cool you know twitch is adding new stuff all the time and it's stuff that is going to benefit you guys as streamers but if you found this video helpful be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more streaming videos more streaming tutorials and creation tips and stuff like that and if you also like this video make sure you hit that like button but i also want to hear from you as well are you gonna use this? Do you think this is a cool feature? Are you confused on anything? Let me know in the comment section below, but thank you guys again for your time and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.